day donation. Good day donation. Good day donation. Good day donation. Okay, guys, so I need to take a vote on do you guys like the good day intros that I have you guys send in? You guys like seeing each other? Leave a like on this video if it gets 25,000 likes. I'm gonna know that you guys wanna keep the good days. If not, we'll take them out. The problem is it's kinda hard. I'm running low on them and I like to do three each vlog. So, like I said, leave a like if you wanna keep them in. Comment down below and let me know. And also submit them to this email, but I don't wanna have to keep saying this in every vlog to send these to these email. We will know after this vlog if they're gonna stay in. Also, I am realizing that I kinda have a camouflage problem slash addiction. Looky here, we got a camo hat, we got a camo jacket, another camo jacket, a camo sweatshirt, a camo shirt, and camo pants. You can't see me. Yes, those are all the camouflage clothing items that I own. I don't know if it's a problem, but you know, I like camo. Who doesn't like camo? My favorite patterns are camo, checker, and then just black. Yeah, that's not a pattern, but I like it. I like it a lot. In yesterday's vlog, I changed the color of my eyeballs. <laughs> Okay, I got the new contacts in. They look dope. How do you think they look? What yeah, I look like El Diablo or a snake. Little slither, little snake. I'm a slither, little snake, a snake. I thought it was really cool, but it kind of burned my eyes because I'm not used to having things in my eyes. So I applaud all of you guys that wear contacts. Today I'm going to meet up with Jordan Taylor Cut Films, a good friend of mine and videographer. We're going to go do some cinematic stuff and take some photos. There's some really cool spots we want to hit up around Hollywood. And I miss making the cinema for you guys. We're going to include some drone shots in it as well. But that is what is on the agenda for today. So let's get the day started. Whoop. Upstairs and show my outfit to the boys. Yo, my Mark, boys doing? Mark, Wait, I just heard George. Mark, what? I got bad news. What? Wait, what are you wearing? What do you mean? I only see a floating head. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Bro, I'm just talking to us right now. I'm eating lunch. Yeah, I don't know, bro. There's just a floating head. Mark! Oh, they're it. camo jokes. Oh, guys, sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry. Sorry. You see me now? No. Oh, what about now? No, bro. I see some. Ah, oh, oh, it's Mark's oh, hair. Oh, oh. Oh. Now let's. Comedy. Okay, I got rid of most of the camo. I got this camo shirt on still, but I'm uh, gonna go meet up with Jordan right now. We're gonna go take some photos, do some cinematic shit, and then goodbye, Logan. Goodbye, Mark. Jack. Jack. We just touched fingertips. Just the tips. <sighs> what are you doing tonight? Uh. Good talk. I'll see you later. <laughs> that guy is so awkward. Am I right? Jordan! Yo, Marky Mark! Get what the is up? Okay, guys. <clears throat> I just spit. <laughs> okay, guys. So Jordan just got back from Cuba, bro. How was that? Oh, it was amazing. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Oh, okay. goes to Cuba once and talks like that. <laughs> yeah, no one from Cuba talks. Like that. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys don't know this, before Americans couldn't go to Cuba, but how are you allowed to go there now? Um, I think they like lifted the sanctions. I think they're allowed to go, and uh, they want to promote tourism. It's like the new Miami. Yeah. But stuck in time. It's great. <laughs> all the cars are old fashioned. It's pretty sick. Yeah, guys. So all the cars are like really old American cars because the importing and exporting is was like closed off to the US it might still be closed off yeah I think it is it's still yeah no rum no cigars nothing yeah but I'm gonna show you guys a few clips from his Cuba trip that he threw together all right now say hello to my little clips <laughs> say hello to my little clips okay these are my little clips right here <laughs> your favorite part about Cuba? Probably the old-fashioned cars. The old-fashioned cars and how the history. Who the f is interrupting my vlog? Oh no! <laughs> Rob Gronkowski. Tell the present five million or nothing. <laughs> Alright bro, let's go get some photos in cinema. Let's do it. Ow. Wait, that wasn't like our intro handshake. Did it. <laughs> 
We are heading to this art piece called Projection by Vincent Lamoro. Basically, he painted this motel that's abandoned all white. Turns out really cool for photos. And he painted everything around it white, so that's what we're doing. I don't know. Big fan of Vincenzo. Yeah, Vincenzo? Vincenzo Di Lorenzo, one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> okay, so we've arrived. This is the place. It's all white. Look at the trees. They even painted the trees white. It says no trespassing, but I think that's the place next door. I think we're good over here. Look, guys, they chain off like little entry points that people go in. There's another one. And another one. And another one. Another one. Is that fittable? Is that fittable? Fittable for this. Can you fit through that hole? That's what she said. <laughs> it's a little sketch ball. I think we can just climb over. This is dope, though. Nice grass. I haven't even seen this green of grass in LA. Yo, this is dope, guys. He painted this whole thing white. Just abandoned. Oh, the Taylor Cup bird! So this place is pretty cool, guys. It's on Sunset Boulevard. I think we're gonna go up to the roof, try to get a cool picture, a cool view, so we'll see. This is sketchy and rotted. The whole thing, ugh. This whole place is just destroyed and molded. And it's dark. It's getting dark. Oh, we're on the roof. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. So we've made our way up to the roof. Pretty cool views from up here, guys. Check it out. Got the Hollywood sign right there, the mountains. Jordan right there. Okay. okay. More mountains, white palm trees. I'm gonna change outfits because I've taken a lot of photos in these pants. So I'm gonna put some different pants on and shoes. Okay, so I thought this would be cool for some cinematic stuff, but it's just all white shit. So there's nothing really to show you, but I did get a couple cool photos. Here they are. <laughs> Yeah, so now we're gonna head out and just go explore some other things around the city. Goodbye, mysterious motel. We've made our way to Runyon Canyon for the sunset. It's yeah. this big hiking hill. That runs. That runs. Every, every Tuesday. He's carrying the drone and a tripod. He's got his arms full. I got my hand full and you guys in this hand. But we're hiking, guys. We're doing this for you. What is this place? <laughs> what kind of place is this? Well, Jordan, where you are is actually Runyon Canyon. We just went over this, so oh, uh, right now is the proper time, wouldn't you say? I think so. I cue the cinema. No light in the distance. We were shadows holding on. Okay, so we just finished up. I'm uh, trying to use my steady cam right now as like a gorilla pod. It's kind of cool, I think. What are you doing? What did you guys think of the cinema? Yeah! Bark once if you're in Milwaukee. <laughs> what? Huh? I don't know why he's being weird, but now we're gonna go home and I don't know. We don't we don't plan our days. No, the days plan us. The days plan up. Let's spin around here. <laughs> What's going on? We got a one shot going still, the tracking shot and perfect motion. Look at the size of this thing. What is that? Black Beatles in the city. This is what it would feel like to be famous and have a videographer follow you around all the time. Not right now, guys. No, 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 bro, it's no, document. Right it's for the documentary. All right, okay. It's like, I feel like you're in a G-Easy episode. Yeah, so right now we're gonna go get some more liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Just got home, Kylie's on our way over. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. I don't know where we're gonna go yet. I kinda wanna eat healthy because I've been eating like absolute shit. As you guys have seen in the vlogs, too many burritos, too many burritos. So we're gonna go get something nice. <laughs> nice. Yo, can we talk about why you still have a Christmas tree up? Bro, it's like nearly December. Oh, you're right, I yeah. guess. Think optimistically. <laughs> <laughs> Look who I'm with. Oh, wow. Okay. I've realized that every time I point the camera to you, you never say anything. You just sit there and look pretty. Okay. Okay, so we're going to eat something healthy. I'm going to get chicken. What are you going to get? Chicken, duh. Uh, duh. We're in unison. Holy shit. Look at this. The same pace and the same Wait, step look length. At, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie hates walking with me because my strides are so long. It's like and double I'm hers. So short. Yeah, I have to go like this. <laughs> and guys, I don't think I'm walking fast. I'm just walking normal. But every time she's next to me, she's like sprinting. Sorry, homeboy. Get going. Get going. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. 
Oh my gosh, we just smashed. The food! And now we're gonna go home and... No! <laughs> we just got back from dinner and I thought it'd be a cool idea to get to know each other a little bit better. So we're gonna ask each other a question. What is something that no one knows about you? But now you guys are gonna know this about us. Yeah. Do you wanna go first or you want me to go first? Doesn't matter. All right, I'll go first. All right, so this brings back memories of my childhood days. Like, I, I think it was middle school or maybe even fifth grade. I used to play baseball, and we went to Cooperstown, New York, like this big tournament. It's like the baseball capital of the world. Like, so stoked, everything. And it was my first experience, like, dorming with kids. And the kids on my baseball team were, like, trying to mess with me when I was in the shower. Like, I, like these are the times where, like, you take a shower and you, like, want the privacy. Like, you're, like, in fifth grade, you're like, no, you can't. Like, so my boy, David, I'm calling you out right now, oh. comes in the bathroom with chocolate pudding. As I finish my shower, drying myself off, comes in the bathroom, and instead, like, basically when people pour buckets of ice water over, he poured <laughs> chocolate pudding all over me, all over my body, all over the towel. I was so pissed off. I locked him out of the room, wouldn't let him in the room, so he had to sleep, like, in someone else's room, but no one knows that about me except David, CJ, Dr. T. So meanwhile, there's a lot of people that actually know this. So no, the only people that know were the kids on my baseball team. And now that I think about it, that's kind of a shitty story, but all, all those guys, no, all those guys. It's the coolest <laughs> That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. All those guys would be laughing their ass off right now because they know how mad I was at the time. Yeah, so what's your story? Um, I got my first tattoo when I was 17. Ooh. And it was behind my neck. It was on my neck, not behind my neck. <laughs> it was behind my neck. It was floating in the air behind I was my like, neck. Wait, how would that would that be in here? And my mom actually called the cops on me when she found it. And I what was it of? I forgot I had it, and um, I had her or do a necklace for me, so I lifted it up, and her express. It's a four leaf clover, <laughs> but all I heard behind me was, "What the f is that a?" F tree and I was just like oh <laughs> shit <laughs> nothing she called the cops on me why? why I don't know what they can do um they came to my house like what was her reason what was her phone call like hey guys my daughter got a tattoo can you she's come losing her mind I don't know <laughs> she needs to be saved like I don't know they come to the house there was two of them and I was such like a cocky little girl and I love talking shit. <laughs> and I knew that they couldn't do anything, so it was fun to like mess around with them. And the sad thing was is that they knew I was right. <laughs> they couldn't do anything. Uh, who yeah. gave you the tattoo? Um, so I got it from some random guy who had gotten out of prison. <laughs> and it was a who were you hanging out with in high school? It was like a $10 tattoo. Oh my god. Kids do not ever do this. It's now covered because it looked so bad, <laughs> but don't ever do that. That definitely tops my story. It's very risky. Alright, so clearly her story was like a little bit more adventurous than mine. Mine was just like a typical case of bullying, except we were boys, so it was just like Logan does to me every day. Don't bully, guys. So the two things we've learned from our stories is don't bully. Well, the three things. Don't bully, don't get bullied, and don't get a tattoo from a guy that just got out of prison for $10. Also, don't get a tattoo when you're underage. Yes! Okay, guys. So now you guys know a little bit more about both of us. And also another fun fact, we both really like camo. Clearly. That is going to do it for today's vlog. Third one this week. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Shout out to the entire donation for watching, especially my guy, Danny. Photographer. Nice. Nice. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Tomorrow, so until then, say it with me, uh, deuces! deuces.